In this video, I'll be doing some more examples of limits. The first example is limit x approaches to pi by 4 cos of 2x divided by cos x minus sin x. Now the first rule to solve any limit is to plug this value into the function and check if it's defined or not. Now when I put pi by 4 into this function, I get cos pi by 2 over cos pi by 4 minus sine pi by 4. Cos pi by 2 is 0. Cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2. So we get 0 over 0. Now this means the direct substitution method fails. Now what do I do? I'll use the formula of cos 2x in this function. So what do I get? Cos square x minus sine square x divided by cos x minus sine x. This is a trigonometric result. Cos 2x is equal to cos square x minus sine square x. Now I'll simplify this expression. Now here again I can use the formula a square minus b square which is equal to a minus b into a plus b. So what do I get? Cos x minus sin x into cos x plus sin x divided by cos x minus sin x. Now the like terms are cancelled. What do I get? Limit x approaches to pi by 4 cos x plus sin x. Now if I put this value into this expression I get cos pi by 4 plus sin pi by 4. Now well, the value of cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 plus and the value of sin pi by 4 is also 1 by root 2. So I get 2 pi root 2 which is equal to root 2. I'll do another example which is limit x approaches to 0 e raised to power x minus 1 over x. Now to solve this limit I'll be using a very important result which is limit n approaches to 0 1 plus n whole raised to power 1 by n and is it it is equal to e now to solve this limit what is the first step I'll plug this value into the function and check if it's it is defined now when I put 0 at the place of x I get e raised to power 0 minus 1 over 0 which is e raised to power 0, 0 is 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 so the function is not defined at this point now what I'll do to solve this limit I'll put this expression equal to some other variable e raised to power x minus 1 is equal to let's say y that means e raised to power x is equal to y plus 1 and x is equal to logarithm function y plus 1 now here I see if x approaches to 0 then y is also approaching to 0. If I put 0 here, e raised to power 0 minus 1, which is 0. If x is approaching to 0, then y is also approaching to 0. Now I'll convert this whole function into y. So limit e raised to power x minus 1 is y, and the value of x is log of 5 plus 1 and the limit of y is approaching to 0. 
now I have to solve this expression limit y approaches to 0 1 over log of y plus 1 over y now here one more thing I can remove this magnitude that is I can write log magnitude y plus 1 is equal to log of y plus 1 as this term is positive here we see if y is approaching to 0 that means y can be slightly less than 0 or y can be slightly more than 0 now if y is slightly less than 0 in that case also 1 minus a very small value is positive and in this case also 1 plus a very small value positive value is again positive so I can remove this magnitude so what I can write here limit y approaches to 0 1 over log of 1 plus y now I will write this term by 1 by y log of y plus 1 and in next step I will write it as logarithm of as we know a into log of b is equal to log b raised to power a now here we can see this thing is similar to this result so what I can write 1 over log of e which is equal to 1 so it is equal to 1 the next example I'm gonna solve is given by f of x is equal to minus 2x plus 4 when x is less than or equal to 1 and root x minus 1 when x is greater than 1 and we have to find limit x approaches to 1 f of x now here we see the value of f of x is different when x is less than or equal to 1 and when x is greater than 1 so to solve the limit of this kind of functions we solve left hand left sided limit and the right sided limit separately so first of all I'll solve the left sided limit that is limit x approaches to 1 from the left side f of x is equal to limit x approaches to 1 negative now when x is less than or equal to 1 the function is minus 2x plus 4 now to solve this expression what I'll do is I'll put x is equal to 1 minus some other variable say h now see very carefully x is approaching to 1 from the left side that means if on a number line this is 1 then x is going to 1 from this side that means x is very close to 1 but x is less than 1 somewhere here so I can write x as 1 minus h because x is less than 1 now what is h here h is greater than 0 that means the value of h is positive and the value of h is very very small but positive because if I take h negative then this thing becomes positive and x becomes more than 1 so x need so h need to be positive but the value of x is very close to 0 that means on a number line if this is 0 the h is somewhere here now what I'll do I'll change this expression into the value of h limit 
माइनस टू इंटू वन माइनस एच प्लस फोर वेयर एच इज अप्रोचिंग टू जीरो एंड एच इज ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव एच अप्रोच इज टू जीरो माइनस टू प्लस टू एच प्लस फोर लिमिट एच अप्रोच इज टू जीरो टू एच प्लस टू इफ आई सॉरी या टू इफ आई पुट दिस वैल्यू इन टू दिस एक्सप्रेशन आई गेट जीरो प्लस टू दैट मीन्स टू नाउ आई विल सॉल्व द राइट हैंड लिमिट लिमिट एक्स अप्रोच इज टू वन पॉजिटिव एफ ऑफ एक्स दैट मीन्स एक्स इज ग्रेटर दैन वन एक्स इज वेरी क्लोज टू वन एक्स इज गोइंग टूवर्ड्स वन द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज सम वे हियर बट पॉजिटिव so when x is greater than वन the value of function is limit x approaches to वन positive root x minus वन now again to solve this right sided limit I'll put x is equal to here वन plus h because the value of x is greater than वन again here h is positive and the value of h is very very small so what do we get limit root the value of x is 1 plus h minus 1 and h is approaching to 0 but h is positive so what do i get h is approaching to 0 root h which is equal to 0 when i plug this value into this now i see the left sided limit is 2 and the right sided limit is 0 as limit x approaches to sorry one negative f of x is not equal to limit x approaches to one positive f of x that means limit x approaches to one f of x does not exist 